Hello Virgo viewers, just bear with my camera for a minute here. It takes a minute to adjust. So just whatever the cards want to say here. And as always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. My donation links are also below. Any donations are appreciated. All of that is in the description box below this video. We have Knight of Cups, Angel de la Nue, which is about the light after period of darkness. We have Strength. We have the Star. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Hermit. We have the Four of Cups. We have the King of Cups. We have the Empress, which is a power couple, so that's good. Chariot. The Chariot here. So I'm seeing a couple different stories here. So there's a story for people that are in relationships and one for people that are single. So I'm going to start with, with, the, um, with the ones that are in a relationship. So I'm feeling like the Knight of Cups is something... I'm getting like either communication issues or wanting to compromise on something. So this could be something that you want that the other person doesn't want or vice versa for those of you that are in a relationship. This could be like a living, like a living situation. Like maybe they want to live in a certain state or a certain country and you want to stay where you're at or vice versa. Or like you want to have kids and they don't want to have kids. It's, um... It could be like even religious beliefs, like you, you know, maybe you're a witch or you're spiritual and they're not and you're hoping that they're going to open up to it or, you know, vice versa, you know, take it as it resonates. But there's some kind of major difference here, major difference in opinion, in religion, in, um, in what you guys want, like long-term goals, like, you know, one of you wants kids, one of you doesn't, one of you wants to... Um, be polyamorous, one of you wants to be monogamous, one of you wants um, even like to adopt animals and the other one doesn't, one of you wants a um, a Christian wedding, one of you wants a pagan wedding, it's, it's something of that sort, it's some major difference that I feel like you guys have had arguments or there's been miscommunication over, like they're hoping you'll budge and and you're hoping they'll budge. It's like some there's just some kind of major difference here in in religion, in in um in some kind of belief, some kind of like deep rooted opinion or belief, or or long term goals. Like I said, it could be like you guys want to live in different areas. Um, you guys are you know maybe maybe there's like houses that you guys are looking at, and you you know they they want to live in this neighborhood, and you want to live in that neighborhood. There's just some kind of major difference here that's creating this tension that I feel like maybe you guys have tried to to sweep it under the rug. You've tried to compromise, but it's like it's such a part of who you are and it's such a part of who they are that I, I just honestly what I'm getting from this spread is that there's not going to be a compromise here. Because um, I was looking at this, I actually feel like this spread is mostly for people in relationships. So I was I was looking at and I'm going to go into the singles read as well here in a minute. But I was looking at it because it looks like just the energy because I always, you know, I channel the cards. So sometimes they mean different things to me. I always channel the energies and what, what the spirits that are coming through are trying to say. And Knight of Cups to me is someone that's like vulnerable. This feels like someone that's been beaten down or been told no or when they've brought up their desires in the relationship, they've been told that they're being unreasonable or they're being needy or they're being this or they're being that or it just causes arguments so they've kind of stopped bringing up their desires but it almost feels like this person's going to have like that that passionate kind of spark like this intuitive nudge like okay I'm going to try it one more time you know I'm going to I'm going to because this to me is like vulnerability like I always when I look at this card you know knight of cups is like it's about love and I always see this character and this energy. It's like it looks like there's this energy coming out of his or her heart. Like you see like just like the body language. It's like they're moving forward. It's like it's passionate. It's romantic. It's like they're 
They're trying to come out of this darkness and into the light. They're trying to find, you know, clarity and communication and balance and, um, and, um, you know, just, it's like they're trying again, like they've been hurt and they've been shut down regarding their religion, regarding their beliefs, regarding their, um, what they want out of life, you know, and it's, the cards are kind of saying like this difference is just, it's, it's not going to be cleared up. It's, it's one of those things. And for some, like I'm a witch myself and I've dated men that are just not into witchcraft and don't support it. And it just, it doesn't work. I know it's hard to hear because you hope that you can find that balance but a lot of people, like, it, it just doesn't work. Like, it just, it's like, that's such a big part of me. And they didn't accept that about me. They didn't understand that about me. And so the relationship really just couldn't move forward for us. And I know for a couple of you, that is your circumstance where either you're a witch or they're a witch. And you're like, you know, someone's like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. And it's like, they're, I mean, they might try to be more open to the witchcraft, but it's like, they're, they're not accepting a, a fundamental part of you. And that's just kind of the energy that I get for someone here is that some of you might be witches and it's like, they're not really, it's like they want, like maybe you want like a pagan wedding and they want like a Christian wedding or something like that. That's kind of what I'm getting for some of you. Like some of you are making wedding plans, but like you guys just have such different aesthetics, different beliefs, diff just so many differences that it's just, it's like the puzzle pieces just don't fit honestly. And some of you are going to be able to just accept that you can't compromise and you're going to move forward with this person anyway. Some of you are, are going to probably just have to move forward on your own. Um, it's kind of up to you. But if this is your story, and, you know, don't, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit. It's, it's, you know, only take it if this is your energy group and this is resonating with me with you. Like, Use your intuition. Really tune into your intuition and make sure this is your story. But it just, it feels like a compromise. If this is for you, it feels like a compromise is not going to be made here, honestly. Because it looks like, because I channel. So when I'm looking at these cards, I'm channeling the story. I'm channeling the energy of the card specifically um, in this context. And to me, it's someone that's, like, been beaten down. Like, they've been told, like, no, we can't have a pagan wedding. We're going to have a Christian wedding. Or, no, like, I'm not going to be comfortable with witchcraft or with you doing spell work. Or, no, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to move to to um, that state or that city. I want to live here. Or, you know, no, I'm not okay with us not having kids. I want to have kids and you don't want kids or, or vice versa. Maybe you want kids and they're like, they're just dead set on not having kids. And you guys are hoping that there's a compromise, but for things like that, there's just not a compromise. Like kids are with children. It's like, that's either something you want or you don't. It's not something that you can force. Like you don't want to bring kids into the world with someone that doesn't want them. Cause that's going to be like an absent mother or an absent father, like those kids are not going to grow up well. If I hate to say it because I know it hurts, but it's like those kids aren't going to be happy if one of the parents does not genuinely fully want them. Like imagine how difficult having kids is. You know, I don't even have kids, but I can only imagine like just the chaos like parents go through just that just pooping and peeing and screaming and crying all the time. There's no way you can talk someone that doesn't want that into having that. And if you do talk them into that, like they're probably, it's probably going to be someone that's going to like leave you the first year of the kid's life. You know what I mean? I hate to say it, but it's something that you need to know. You don't want to try to push that on someone that doesn't want that. It's just, it's not going to, it's just not going to go well. But, um, but yeah, anyway, there's, there's a few different stories here. And I do want to get into the singles read as well, because this is just for those of you that are actually like with this person or, or, you know, in contact with them, dealing with them. But it just, it, to me, this energy channeling it, it feels like someone who's like been beaten down. And with this star here, it's like they have hope. Like they're, they're giving it one last try or like a few last tries, like something like their passion or that, that romantic side of them has been stirred. And so they're trying to find the light. They're trying to find the compromise. They're trying to, to be strong and make this happen and plant the seeds. And honestly, I just see it as like, I was really drawn to the water, honestly. 
how he or she is, is, look at this, this is like water, like they're trying to plant seeds and it's actually, it's actually just leading them to their ten of swords. I hate to say it because I know that hurts, but it's like all this water you're planting, trying to all this energy and effort you're putting into to making this happen, whatever this, this compromise is, trying to see eye to eye, trying to get them to accept you as you are or trying to accept them as they are. It's, it's like all this water that you think is like bright and, and beautiful and good is, is honestly just, it's like you're filling this, this tank with, with 10 of swords energy. This is like going to be your demise. I mean, not actual like death or anything, but, but you know what I mean? Sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that, but, but, um, like this is going to, this energy that you're putting into this when you, you know, this, this isn't right for them or it's not right for you like because it just feels like a like a very deep fundamental like like it doesn't feel like it, it's not like you know you like eggs and they don't like eggs it's not something like that this is something where it's like part of who they are and part of who you are you know what I mean like if you really want kids and you've wanted them since birth since you were like a, you know you dreamed about having kids since you were 11 12 years old you you know you you play dress up with your dolls and you just always wanted kids and this person has like probably been the same with not wanting kids it's like that's part of who they are like they they genuinely don't want kids you know and it's like you can't force that whatever this difference is it's like you can't force them into this or and they can't force you into it it's like it's just it's one of those things where it's it's just a part of who they are and a part of who you are and it's just not going to work I don't know how else to say it Um, but yeah, I was really drawn intuitively, like, don't shoot the messenger, but I was just drawn intuitively. I know I shouldn't laugh at this because I know this is probably an upsetting reading because a lot of you have probably been like, you know, maybe, if, maybe they'll want kids eventually. Maybe if, maybe if we, you know, if we're around them, maybe they'll change their mind. They're not going to change their mind. It's, it's who they are. You have to accept who they are. If you love this person, you've got to accept them as they are. And same, you know, for, for you. They have to accept you for who you are. For some, it's you trying to change them. For others, it's them trying to change you. Maybe it's both. Maybe you guys are trying to change each other. But it's like if you love each other, you have to kind of just accept who the other person is. Um, you know what I mean? Like you just have to accept them as they are. And that means either just accepting the differences or realizing that the differences are too much and moving on. But you don't want to change someone that you love and, and vice versa. You know what I mean? Like if they love you, they shouldn't want to change you. And for some, it's like this person is intuitively drawn to live in another state or you're intuitively drawn to live in another state. And I think some of you are just going to have to use your intuition there. It's like, really sit and think about it because it might just be something think about it is this part of who you are because if if it's if it's meant to be you're not going to have to sacrifice a part of who you are you know for some of you it's like you're drawn to a, a career or a um I don't know why I keep hearing Detroit for some of you like 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 I keep like someone wants to go to Detroit or someone lives in Detroit I don't know um or, like, maybe one of you is, like, a city person and one of you is a woodsy person and it's, like, you guys just can't find that balance. Um, if this is, again, don't try to make it resonate if it doesn't, though. It's either your story or it isn't. But if this is your energy group, it's kind of saying, like, like, you know that this is something. Because you know that they're not budging because this is probably something. If this is your story, you've probably brought this up to them and they've argued with you or vice versa. Like they've tried to change you and you've argued with them because, you know, and you should rightfully you should, because they're like, that's not who you are. That's not what you want. You know what I mean? Like, it's not something that resonates with you. Um, you know, you should really be true to who you are. And, and so should they as well. Both of you guys should, but it's like, it's one of those situations where it's like, like if you're in a situation where, you guys both kind of like the woods and both kind of like the country, then yeah, you can find a balance. But this is someone who's like really like just loves the woods and, and someone who just loves the country and there's no middle ground, you know, or someone who loves kids and someone who hates kids or someone who, who, and, you know, take it as it resonates because there's different stories here. It doesn't have to be about kids. It doesn't have to be about living situation, but it's, it's basically something, you know what it is for you, but it's basically something that you guys have tried to compromise on and you you both intuitively know that there is no compromise. You both know that deep down that 
you know, this is just a part of who you are and that's just a part of who they are. Like, it's just something, it's not something that you would want to change because if you try to force them into something, it's like, they're not going to be genuinely happy. Like, even if they did compromise to try to keep you, it's something that they would like, I feel like they would like resent you for it or like they, like the kid thing. It's like, God, you don't want to have kids with someone who doesn't want kids. Like, they're going to yeah, they'll give you what you want, but then they're going to resent the kids and they're probably going to leave early on. And I hate to say it, but it's, you're, you're saving yourself from future heartbreak. You know what I mean? It's like one of those situations where it's just, it's just trying to make puzzle pieces fit that don't fit. And you're going to cause more damage trying to force them to fit, honestly. Because what I'm getting here is like, look, she's like, he or she is so hopeful. It's like they have this like spark. They're like, okay, maybe we can. Because I feel like this is something that you guys have probably, if you're, if this is your story, you guys have probably like argued about this in the past. This is something where you just, this isn't something where they're kind of like, oh, like maybe like on the fence. No, this is something where it's like, you know that they don't want this or, or they know that you don't want this, whatever this is. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things where. You guys are just both kind of, you, you have your own beliefs and your own opinions. And there's not a middle ground here if this is your story. But with the star, it just feels like, it just, it, it's a sad energy because immediately like intuitively channeling, I was drawn to like, look at the water here and look at the water here where it's like this person thinks that they're planting the seeds for something beautiful and amazing to grow and happen. And they have all this hope and it's just like, all that water is actually going here into your downfall, the Ten of Swords, betrayal, heartbreak, painful endings, rock bottom. That doesn't that doesn't look so bright, does it, compared to that? Nope. Like, it looks bright going in. When you plant the seed and you have the hope, it looks bright, but this is what it ends up as. It's, it's dark. It's murky. You know? It's endings, betrayal, heartbreak, being shut down again. Not being understood, not being accepted as you are. So you guys are pretty much just going to have to make that decision. Do you want to keep doing this? Do you want to keep going in circles? Because there's, if this is your story, there's not a compromise that's going to be made. And you know that already because you guys are so... You guys are just on opposing ends of this, whatever this is. This isn't something that you've, you know, kind of agreed on a little bit here and there. This is something where you guys have very different... Um, religious beliefs, uh, beliefs about family, beliefs about, you know, whatever it is. It's like you guys have very, very different backgrounds. Um, yeah, for those of you that are single, I feel like, I know this is mostly for those in a relationship, but, you know, there are singles on here too. I mean, this particular energy came out for all, for people in relationships mostly, but for those that are single, I feel like, I feel like this is you, like you have hope with this person that you're not with. And it's like, you had like this passionate romantic spark, like, okay, let me try again. Like this person ghosted me or this person seems distant or they seem busy or they're in a third party situation and, um, it's drama or like this person is just like you know, doesn't seem that into me, like, they're not taking me on dates, they're not giving me the time of day, they're, um, you know, whatever, and it's like, you're gonna have that, like, romantic spark, spark, and try to pursue that, and try to be strong, and plant the seeds, and then it's gonna be, like, it's gonna be, like, you're gonna get closure from this person, they're gonna be, like, no, I'm sorry, I just see, you. I hate to say it, but they're gonna be, like, I'm sorry, I just see you as a friend, or I, um, you know, I'm not at a point in my life where I want to be in a relationship or just, it's it's like a shutdown. I hate to say it. But ultimately though, for, for those in relationships and for those that are single, you have true love coming in. So, so you're good. You have the King of Cups and the Empress. That's, that's amazing. That's a power couple right there. You're, you know, whatever this is. And like I said, for those that are in that, in, in, a, in a connection with someone, it's like, you're getting closure here with this Ten of Swords, you know? The seeds you're planting, they're not doing what you think they're going to do, but you are going to get closure at least. You are going to get some kind of clarity, even if it's painful. Um, and it just feels like... 
Well, like I said, I feel like, you you know, you're going to have to kind of make your decisions as to whether you, like, you're not going to make a compromise. So you're going to have to decide, do you want to stay with this person and just not compromise? And just, you know, you have to suppress that side of you and they have to suppress that side of themselves. Or do you want to leave and be with someone that's more compatible with you? Because so we've got the Hermit and the Four of Cups where it's like kind of like stagnation for a while. Or you're going to be kind of like, you know, looking at this. Don't let it keep you stagnant, though. you got to embrace this Ten of Swords. Once you embrace that, like, do the, do the shadow work, the soul searching, and really embrace that Ten of Swords, you know, and Hermit energy here, I think you're going to move forward quickly with the Chariot and move on. Be it with this person you're with or be it with someone new, you're going to move on with the King of Cups and the Empress here. You know, moving on to... um to your match this is like a twin flame couple or a soulmate couple this is like like they're just right for each other yeah mutual give and take it's going to be you know mutual give and take five of wands eight of swords yeah you're gonna have to if you want this king of cups and the empress like and to be the empress and to be with the king of cups or you know vice versa like it could be could be male male and female female as well you know, you could be the King of Cups or the Empress. Just take it as it resonates. But you're going to have to get yourself out of stagnant energy because I feel like you're going to get an answer or you're going to get some kind of closure. With If you're single, you're going to get it with someone that's not been giving you the time of day. Like someone that's just not appreciating you, not respecting you. They're just kind of like, eh, could take it or leave it. Like just all over the place, like F-boy, F-girl energy or just someone that's just like just... You know, sometimes you're just not that into someone and it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. That's just, you just might not be their type. You know what I mean? Like, you can be the entire package. Like, you can be weird and funny and magical and just absolutely amazing. And if you're trying to go for some stupid method, like, they're, you know what I mean? If you're trying to go for your neighbor over there that's, like, basic and, you know, one of the, just a regular bro or whatever, they're, you know what I mean? Like, it's there's not the compatibility. Like, they're not going to get you. They're not going to be, you know, all those things about you are amazing, but the wrong person is not going to resonate with those things. They're not going to get those things about you. You know what I mean? So it's it's not a bad energy. Like, Ten of Swords is painful, It's it's a but it's it's also, there's closure. It's like an ending. It's It's a breakthrough where you have your answer, even if it's not what you wanted to hear. You know what I mean? Because it's like you're, some of you are wasting your time with someone that's like, go like the singles. It's like, it feels like you guys are wa wasting your time with some Muppet that's like ghosting you and they're just not that into you. And it doesn't, again, that's about them. That's not, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just, that's about them. They're just, there's just an incompatibility there. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. But once you really let that go and you stop chasing this person that's emotionally unavailable, you, you know, you open yourself up to find your true love, to find that person that's, that's, and let them find you, more importantly, to be with that person that's, you know, just going to think the world of you, like you're weird and quirky and dorky, and they're just going to think that's like the most amazing, beautiful thing in the world. Like the things that this other person that, you know, was ghosting you didn't like about you, this part, this other person's going to love those things about you. They're going to be like... You know, like all those little quirks are just, they're going to, the right person is going to love those quirks. They're going to love, that's how you know it's right. That's how you know someone's like your true love, I think, is when, you know, all those little quirks, those like weird little eccentric diseases, it, oh my gosh, I can't speak right now. <laughs> all those little quirks, they're going to just, it's like things, just silly little things, like even, um, even things that most people find annoying, like they're just, I mean, not that, not that you're going to be perfect to them. Like, yeah, there's going to, there's differences sometimes. Like there's, you know, no one's perfect, but I just mean like the things that really make you who you truly are. Like, let's say that you talk to trees or something and your current person or this person, if you're single, like this person is like, dude, you're crazy. This, this, this new person, this King of Cups or Empress is going to be like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like, look how just out there like he or she is like they're just going to be like enthralled by that they're gonna be like that's like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen like they're just you know what I mean because that's your person you're gonna resonate with them and they're gonna resonate with you you're gonna notice that energy difference like the way your bodies are together like how relaxed you are just how you feel around them 
it's um it's just gonna feel different it's like they're just gonna get you it's like they're gonna understand you you know you can be your true self around them and like all those things that other people don't like or don't understand about you it's like this person is just gonna resonate with those like those cute little quirks quirks it's like it, it's gonna feel right to them because that's your soulmate or your or twin flame you know what i mean it's like it's just you guys are your souls are just gonna resonate with each other when you're with someone and they're trying to change you or you're trying to change them it's like that's how you know it's like not right for you because it's like you guys just don't get each other i don't know um But yeah, it's like once once you let go of that person that doesn't get you, be whether you're single or in a relationship, it's like you open yourself up to to you know, to have that the M person, the King of Cups relationship. Something that's, you know, mutually balanced, mutual give and take. It's just gonna make sense. It's just gonna feel right to you. You're gonna notice that energy difference. But you're going to have to let something go. And I guess that's a common a common theme for earth signs right now because I got similar energy for Taurus. I mean, it was a different story, but it was still like, you know, what was coming what was coming through for Taurus was when you let go of like the karmic job or person or situation, it's, it's going to get replaced by something much better. And so I'm getting a similar vibe here too, even though the story is different. It's like you might be like, you know, not talking to someone, not seeing eye to eye, not, not being able to compromise. Um, or just if you're single, it's like holding on to someone that you know is not right for you. Someone that doesn't really want you, doesn't really resonate with you. But when you let go of that and you start breaking that pattern with emotionally unavailable people, you, you leave room in your life to, to meet someone, you know, it's like you stop tolerating that. And then you open yourself up to meet someone who really is going to appreciate you and love you just as you are. But some of you are going to be an Eight of Swords energy. So Eight of Swords traditionally is like someone that has all these swords around them, but they have their castle and their true love and everything right in front of them. There's like an opening right there, but they can't see it because they're so focused on the swords around them. So you have to kind of wake up. Like you got to wake up and step out of your comfort zone and start really, you know, stop looking at all these swords and just realize all you have to do is get up and just walk out this, this entrance if you want to. Go towards your castle and your true love and just happiness, new home, abundance, everything that you could want. You know what I mean? It's like if you have if you want kids and you've been with someone that, you know, just doesn't want kids and you're trying to force it, when you let go of that, you're going to meet someone who's going to like want kids just as much as you do. And you're going to know that's that's like the divine's person for you. That's your person. You know what I mean? Like those things, a life partner is... Like, yeah, there's always little differences here and there. Like, maybe you guys like your eggs different. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's little differences. But something is as huge as, like, wanting kids and, and being with someone who doesn't want kids, that's that's not a life partner. You can tell that's not a life partner because if, if they were, it's like you, your, your long-term goals would be more in sync if that was actually your, your true life partner. You feel me? But you got to get out of Eight of Swords energy or you're going to stay stagnant and stuck in limbo. And there's there's just going to be no communication, no closure with this person. So you're going to have to let it go. Five of Cups. If you want. Where is it? <laughs> Where's the damn Empress? <laughs> you're going to have to let go of this situation with this person that's just either not into you or just doesn't accept you as you are. If you want to be this power couple right here if you want your true divine match you got to show the universe that you're really willing to let go of the past and like willing to let go of the people that are just not resonating with you and not on your journey anymore 